first cashies of the morning, everybody. Um, today on the game hunt, oh, we are going to head around um, some Brisbane stores for once. It's been a little while since we travelled around. How cool are these toys? I remember when these were actually released. I wish I didn't stick the stickers on them. 1997. What else have they got up there? So cool. Alright. Games. Mulan. Story Studio. Hmm. Not sure about that. They want the Pokemon. Pokemon games 25. Ocarina's 19. Now the real DS. Let's get some dollar dollar bills. Yeah. Ferrari experience. That one looks pretty wrecked actually. Nice, nice. Um, and 50% off Xbox and PS3. How beautiful is that condition right it's there? Bloody hammered. Oh, mate, that'll play first time. <laughs> yeah, it'll yeah. work. Who wants a frisbee? Okay. I was gonna say, like, you need to play this game. I don't know if I've got this mm -hmm. cameo game actually. Oh, I love cameo. It's on the rare replay collection if you've got Yeah, that. I do, but I like to try and collect the. That's actually not bad condition, and that. Um, that's gonna be. <laughs> This one's actually going to be a dollar fifty, guys. So I'm actually really happy with that. Dragon Age. Origins. Come on, baby, give me not come a on, frisbee. Come on, come oh. It's actually not bad. Yeah, you, you'd dirty. be able to clean that off. Yeah. It's going to take a lot. Oh, oh it might pretty. be rot. Yeah, I think that is rot. Why can't we have cartridges on everything? I know. Make a salt too. Disney Singstar and what else? Disney Singstar. Pop box. Um, yeah. Deus Ex. Who was um, keen on Deus Ex? Was it um, on Insta? So There's one person who was saying like Deus Ex is one of the favourite series. I don't know if you it know, was great. PSX Collector, was it? Did he I think just it was, yeah. yeah, it was actually. Yeah, it was. For your brother? The last guy, 19 bucks. He's not worth that much to me. <laughs> trash pack. All oh. bucks. What's oh, that? They're like literally on top of each other right here. Viet Cong Pebble yeah. Haze. Oh, is this gonna fall? Oh, oh look, we've got connect, so much man. connect. We, we, oh we, my we. god, we gotta get into that. <laughs> I actually bought that at launch and I smashed a light out of the ceiling from playing one of those. <laughs> oh, games. really? Yeah. In a holiday accommodation place. It was so expensive. This Shadow Run game, I wonder what that is. It looks pretty nice condition. Uh, I think that was an online game. Ah, oh, yeah, it's probably. It. Play with Windows Vista, yeah. <laughs> you can play with Windows Vista players. Yeah, maybe not. Not, not, not Windows 10, but Vista for days. Alright, so what else oh, we got down here? Yes, game, game of the year edition. Game of the year, game of the year. Oh, how, how much is it going to be? Um, that will be uh, $2.50. That's not bad. Yeah, let's have a look at Oh, it's got the little shadow complex insert as well. Oh, oh it's nah. pretty scratched though, yeah. It's a problem with cashews. Like, uh, most of the things look like a dog's breakfast. Yeah. It looks like Anu's had a go at it. Yeah, I know. Giving it a good chew. Oh, Xbox? Alan Wake. This yeah, that's an amazing game. I Wayne really want told to me to play that. that. It's gone. Oh, it's got Tom Clancy Rainbow Six in it. Yeah, Again. nah, it's not good. Mm. Not good, everyone. We're doing our best to find some games, but obviously there's no retro in this store, I don't think. But we came in here because uh, Craig said that they had um, the half price on the PS3, and obviously. Oh, you missed that. Huh? <laughs> Pretty good. Oh wait, and it's got. Both discs. Oh, both discs. Really it looks clean. like it hasn't right, been I'm used. How much was it? Um, let's check the other disc. Oh no, that's right. Well, there's three discs. Shit. Nice, that's good. Just See, normally, two. oh yeah, it does have the right yeah. case too. I thought it wasn't really in the right case, but yeah, I do know that um, one. $2.50. $2 Done. That's a good, good oh, buy. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's 
And then there's the bureau that we picked up last time. Oh, it's in a protect. It's in a slip that comes with it. Like yeah, a that's the, it's a slip from the Xbox 360 one, but the same one. I only just got this the other day. Now I'm like, I need to get the slip cover one. Jazz hands, people. <laughs> it's clean. Yeah, it is clean. But I don't. What what perfect? What's enslaved it? Odyssey? Oh, actually, that's supposed to be like. That's Some a Namco people game. I really like that as like yeah. a game jam. Like, yeah, I'm getting it. It's one of those one. games that fell between two big releases and got yep. overshadowed. Ah, so. no, that's good value. I haven't checked the disc yet. I'm going to do that in a minute. Everybody. Oh, we were talking about Borderlands the other day. Oh, yeah, that one's got the slipcover, the, the holographic. Because I got that version when we were down in the Gold Coast yeah. for the 360, remember? I think I might. This is, yeah, so we can always change out. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right, cameo for that'll be a dollar fifty. Borderlands in the collector's edition, like slipcase, will be two dollars fifty. The bureau, I did pick this up the other day, but it's going to be a dollar fifty. But it's got the actual slipcase on it, and then enslaved, which looks really cool. So that's two dollars fifty. Yeah. I got vinyl. <laughs> it's each you. Over yeah. I can be a bulky hunter. It looks so cool. Yeah. I really, I really. I, if I can, I can headbang with it. No, I can't. <laughs> All right, so the same Winham cashies that we're at at the moment. Found uh, the retro over here. It's not a lot, guys, unfortunately. SNES um, is 119 and the NES 119. Um, I think really to write home about um, I've got Sin and Punishment there. Now that's a Japanese copy of the game. It says uh, 39. I wish that was a little bit cheaper, but I think I'll just wait till I go to Japan next time and try and find a copy of it. Pac-Man Retro handheld. Station 4 over there, 229. Oh my god, a laser display. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> DJ Hero on the PS3 is three bucks. Um, I actually have DJ Hero on my Xbox 360. I do like this game, funnily enough, just simply because I love any music games. Um, three bucks for something boxed is actually probably not that bad. But let uh, Retro Gamer Guy make the decision on that one if he wants it or not. But um, yeah, there's a silver PS2, which is actually not bad price. Yeah, on it. It's not bad condition. Testing. Did it actually come with a silver controller? Yes. It's a third party controller. Yeah. And there's a Duke controller for 15 bucks. A Dookie. It's, a, it's called a Dookie. A Dookie? A Dookie. Dookie Dookie. I'm going to take the Dookie. Should we bust down the karaoke? No, I think we should. Maybe later. Bad little uh, haul for the first thing this morning. This was thirty dollars and fifty cents uh, for the game uh, games and Blu-rays. So the games came down to half price. Blu-rays were five for twenty dollars, and then the CDs were fifty cents each. There's a laser disc player. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was actually that was actually really funny. <laughs> I've never seen somebody move so far. Yeah. <laughs> Broke my neck looking around. <laughs> Rub it again. <laughs> okay, everyone. So we are now at a Nula Kirshu's. Um, this one they used to have all of the retro games over on this right hand side, but um, it's actually been changed to camera, other stuff. So anyway.
There's tons and tons of games in here. Now the lady did say that um, anything with the green line is going to be 25% off. Um, so, have a quick look. The pink PS2, really wanted one of those, but they probably won't have the controller that goes with it. Unfortunately, some aftermarket stuff. I thought that said $15 on that SNES, but no. So $179 for the N64s, $199, and then the yellowed SNES are like $150, the Mega Drive is $59 and a $99, um, $249. <laughs> Um, the pricing is just all a bit crazy on this stuff. Um, yeah. $69 for a scratched uh, GBA. There's a switch over the back there. Does it say with accessories? Yes, we can. Oh my gosh, so we've been wanting one of these for so long. I think that's yeah, the that's best part. Good deal. So tons and tons of games, but this is just Oculus stuff, guys. Um, we've been here a couple of weeks ago, but we didn't actually have the camera with us at the time, and yeah, it's just it's this switchback. 45. It's really nice. Um, it's a big um, Assassin's Creed. Wasn't bad. Oh yeah, that's good. That's actually a good buy. Get that one. Yep, definitely. There you go. Good deal. See, I'm I'm missing all the stuff today. No, we could have got that for three dollars at the no, other no, store. No, 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 no. There's Assassin's Creed up there. Controller. See? 42, 46, so it's gonna have 25% off that. Yeah. 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 Tony Hawk is 15, Spider Man's 19, and Metroid is 30, but I've already got those games. Oh, I don't think I have Sing Star Volume 3. recently on the GameCube for $5. That is also another wicked deal. Wow, they were just the wrong way around then, so I'm pretty happy with that. Do you think of any other $2 Xbox games? I'll look at the Alan Wake there, but... Here we go. Let's see, guys. good two dollars 
actually think I might have the manual for this one. And then we've got The Sims 2. Also awesome condition. Three dollars. I might ask them if they can do them all for two dollars each. Perfect. Look at these hidden in here. Summer challenge is Aussie Soft one too. I don't have any of the box ones. And toys, twelve dollars. Not the greatest game, but I don't actually know if I have it, so yeah, I'll definitely maybe think about these two. I don't have Summer Challenge. There's a bit of mold in the box, actually. That's a bit of a turn off. Um, so yeah, I might just double check if I have toys or not. I just found some awesome games. Oh, $2. What? $2 each. And they're all pretty good condition. Oh my god, like literally, like... Okay, that being said, I do have those, so I will... Yeah, I'm, I'm slipping that. And uh, toys. Can you check if we've got toys on Mega Drive? Where's that? Where did that miss the Twelve dollars? Yeah. The Genesis version. Yeah. I haven't seen this in your collection. I wouldn't notice it if I did. Yeah, I don't think we have it. So, yeah, I think we'll get that too. 12 bucks, why not? Yeah. Or you can well, you can't get. get... Um, what's the. This, like, the box is shit. Well, I'm, get, I'm actually going to say to them, since they've got a sale, like, can you just give me a bit of a discount for a bulk buy or something? Yeah. Wow, you've got some good finds here. Yeah, Do I can believe hold, those. No, 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 so no. I'm videoing? actually pretty good. No, 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 I'm still sure. videoing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this, almost walked past. There's some Hercules and Xena carded. If anyone remembers Xena, Warrior Princess? That's pretty cool. I didn't really look at the PS2 to be honest, I just gave it a... Roll of Roses! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Actually, my, my heart just dropped. Can you imagine? Like, literally, if you walk past it, it's like, oh. Can you imagine? Yeah. I'm gonna give you a four hours. I'm a couple of times. I'm stepping up. <laughs> Gotta pick up my game. Actually, I'm coming up. Were you guys looking for anything in particular or just browsing for now? Um, Whatever you can give us for five dollars, that's worth two hundred. Yeah, uh, <laughs> sounds great. Well, guys, we'll get back to you on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Man. Yeah, feel yeah. good. Um, there's an Alien trilogy PS One. Is that one you were looking for? Over there. It's the platinum though. Yeah. Light phaser. I might have two. I want a box. Oh yeah. So um, there wasn't like a lot of retro. I think that that cashies though. Um, maybe that's the one I was recording, and the Nintendo 64s were like 200, I think, or it something was, like yeah, that. It was 200, yeah, and then like 200 dollars for a SNES or yeah. 159 for SNES. So yeah, like obviously in um, like Australia, we are the power region and. I don't know, just everything is just through the roof really expensive, so. Okay. We are now at a, another Salvos. We're very excited, aren't we, Beck? Now, the guys have been to this one before and actually never really had any success. Uh, but the last time we were here, I was just letting them know that I found some pretty clean OG Xbox games and PSP. Plus, we found some vintage I think maybe late 80s Mickey Mouse mugs. So let's hopefully hope today is as fruitful. Hey, how are you? Oh, there they are there. I was trying oh, to I was look, yeah. Do you have any other games at the moment as um, well? I think maybe that's all the rest on because when they come in, yeah, when they get sorted, they come straight out. Straight out, okay, yeah, because yeah. I remember them being over there the other day. Yeah. So well, yeah. I would say because people like to take, take, take them. off and take them out. Yeah, no, that's cool. Yeah. Awesome, thank you. If you find furniture, I'll I'm gonna get theme park. Oh, 
Crash. I think I need Get that in. one too. Alright, you can flick. I'll flick you hold. Okay, tell me when to stop. Oh god, oh wait, uh, no, nobody needs mahjong. Oh, I love mahjong. I'm like the only person that likes it. Tiring. I've got. Well, I don't know if that's the one. Can I? Uh, I'm gonna. I have the Guitar Hero 4 DS, but I don't know. I didn't know if it had additional games. Alright, I'm gonna have to move Mr. Bear. Oh, okay, sorry, Teddy. Oh, it's the Care Flight one, too. Sorry, Teddy. Oh, yep. Mario Olympics. Yep, do better. Oh, um, is it another tycoon sort of. Oh, uh, yeah, we've got two tycoons. We've got Zoo, and then there's. I don't know what the other one is. Uh, oh, Cruise Line. <laughs> that's pretty weird. Alright. Yeah. There you go. Um, I'm just going to check this one because I know that there is a game that came out. I have the boxed version, but I didn't know if there was additional games, so I'll definitely check that out. Do you mind you if I pick that? that one up? Of course, so, yeah. you can check it out. You can yeah. check it, pick it up. Um, there's uh, Theme Park, EA, and then Crash Boom Bang, which is awesome. I only have the cartridge for this one, so... Are we leaving out the channel? Or what are we oh, no, we're going to take them. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I found some games. Hmm. Can we check the DS version? Because I don't know. Theme Park. Oh, <laughs> go find Beck. Uh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> a sweet mumbo cooler. Yeah, it's a Mambo one too. Oh shit. Can't complain about that. Yeah, I Except reckon that's pretty awesome. Like that. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm pretty pretty clumsy. Yeah, I mean, know. Alright, that's pretty cool. Yeah, this How painted cool. are these glasses? Uh, um, I think it's faded a little bit. Yeah. Well, if you look at it with these glasses on. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you look up with these glasses it's on, and I'm like. Day, man. Ah! In the spirit, so. so now we're at our secret store today. Eight dollars. Huh? Eight dollars. Getting down and dirty. Oh, <coughs> yeah, they had that here last time. You, you play the PC games? Is that sealed? No. Oh, that looks pretty good. But it's really nice condition. Oh, man, but that thing is the biggest letdown game of all time. Mm. Not really. I bought a graphics card just for this game. Oh, no. Gran Turismo, Air Raid. High School Musical Sync. Nah. Gran Turismo. Buzz. Home front, yeah. But that one's got a ripped cover. Dream. Damn it. No, not today. Yeah, they have lots of... Jesus. <clears throat> they always have like a lot of... I don't know, like new stuff or their clothes have a lot of tags on them. Mm. Right, do you want to go and have a look and see if there's any consoles? Electrical. <gasps> I know. What's that? <laughs> Have you seen people do that? It's like um, you can turn oh. the dial and it's, it like gets you in the face. I've seen people doing it with dogs. Yeah. And the dogs are waiting. And just yeah. <laughs> to <laughs> eat eat the cake. Oh, DJ Hero Two is the PS3. Mm -hmm.
25. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I need I need a backpack. How much is it? Yeah, I know. They're like interchangeable, so you can like open up and make it like resize them. Well, I'd be able to put my actual cameras in there. Yeah. See, it's worth a shot. You're looking at camera bags. Oh, wait. There's an actual video camera Oh, really? Shit. That's pretty cool. That's a retro one, too. I wonder what size tapes it takes. Oh, shit. It's got like someone's information in it. Panasonic, Browns Plains. Oh my god, BH movie camcorder, all its warranty and stuff's in there. That's really cool. Did you put like the little tapes in it as well? Oh, it sounds like it. Hey, I think 30. Um, this would be a good upgrade for your YouTube videos. So this you could, no, I like, know. You could shoot in the whole 480p. Oh, yeah. yeah. Man, screw 4K. This is all you need. It's pretty funny. VHS compatible. So you're good. You know, people collect these things though. Uh, but yeah, we're so we're slowly working our right way around um, this particular area today, and um, as we're getting to uh, this other caches, I think how many how many options do you reckon we can try and still. Too distracted when we get in there because we were just like, if we stop, it's not like what we're Power, power, yeah. power shopping. <laughs> power shopping today, guys. Another op shop. Now, we actually haven't been to this one. The other guys have, and they're introducing us to it today. And uh, yeah, hopefully it becomes fruitful. Hey, here we go. Pirates, Tekken, uh, GT. Mm. Shame that doesn't have that. What have you got there? Just yeah, more just GT. Grand, grand it looks like it's been yeah, it does. Oh, there's a few there. Like three, four dollars. There's. I don't know. Yeah, it's all they're like, all crap. Yeah. 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 That's sad. And I'd buy them for the cases, but I already have a lot of cases. Um, UMD. Oh, Konami. Mm -hmm. nice. There are some games down here. Oh my goodness. You never, ever, ever know if there's going to be any games placed over here or Barbies or the collectibles, Care Bears. so far. Oh, it's interesting. This looks like a, no, they're not vintage Ken. Yeah, they are, some of them are, but Ken's not. Oh, I, I had something very similar to her. Yeah, I like her dress too. Yeah. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Oh. <laughs> that was $25 for it. Pretty cool. We can but, see if they would sell it for less. But I, no. I wouldn't pay more than $5. Yeah, I know, but where would I put it? Oh my god. I remember these. It's a massive Garfield. Yeah, that's cool. Wow. How heavy is it? I know, I remember this. Great. Great. <laughs> and it's heavy. It's so heavy. <laughs> All right, so where are we heading to now? Where uh, we are going to the Lifeline and Superstore on Boat Road. Okay. And we're going to find some amazing Super Nintendo stuff. Oh. You know, they call us oh. so, hey, uh, you guys are the best fucking <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're going to give you the best of the best. But here's the chance. It's going to cost you $5,000. I know. It's going to price fucking everything. There's everything today has been so overpriced, like um, yeah, everything down to glasses and stuff like that. Lately, just, I don't know, it's like they see that it's vintage or retro or something like that and they're just hiking up the prices. So, um, yeah, like obviously finding any older games has been pretty freaking hard too. The only place we've really found old games was Cashies, hey? This one's 
um, a very big store. What's that big Mickey Mouse thing? They're over here. so many vinyls but I'm not going to take the time to go through them because I reckon they're going to be crap. Yeah, I know. Actually no games. Nothing. My goodness, this is bust. That one was a bit of a bust. Luckily there's two superstores right next to each other. Hey Beck. Yes. Have a win here. The, the games in this salvos are normally at the front door. Is that right? Have you been? Mm. You've been this one, yeah. yeah. So. <clears throat> Nothing here, guys. Unfortunately. Oh, yuck. Yeah, nothing here except for this vintage mouse trap that they want ten dollars for. It's pretty cool because it's old, but still, that's that's it. Gotta keep looking. Oh, oh. That is so funny. You snooze, you lose. What? Oh my god. How many? 15. Good pick up, dude. Good that was up. so funny. I'm just like, I'm just like, yeah, pretty much. He ran and snatched. I'm surprised you didn't see it, like, I would have. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually. No games. Drop dead Fred's egg, yes. I will just drop dead Fred's egg. Yeah. Two Wii's for $50 each. Yeah. The pro one's awesome. Yes. Nice. And what again rules? Jesus Christ. Nice. What's that spot? Uh, no, I got that. Yeah, I think we got that. Yep, got that. Ten bucks, three dollars. Yeah, we got that. Yeah, maybe we have that one. And I think we've got that. Too. So, pretty much next time, if we want to come over here, we've had a little, little bit of um, like unlucky, I suppose you could say. A few of them have since closed. So, um, after one o'clock, they all seem to shut their doors. But we've still hit those last ones. We're now going to hit cash converters. The crate ended up finding two awesome VHS box sets. What did we get? Pro! Yeah. This was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I feel bad for picking this one up because I literally pushed Bo out the way. <laughs> He was walking straight towards it. It was like a meter away. And I was like, I was literally Mine. six meters behind you. I just it and push you out of the way. But I'm not know. salty, I don't care. No, it's it's like another back to the thing. Exactly. No, well, we'll see what else we can pick up today, but I think that back to the future VHS set. So we'll see what else we can get. Hey guys, yes. we'll keep at it. We'll keep at it till our feet hurt. Yes, that's the American one, actually. I just told you, that's why I didn't even know. The games... $3 yeah. yeah. Unless otherwise, Mark, some of them are two. box of games as well, like tops and tops of games. Where? Um, right on the inside of the personal finance is like...
So we're having a look in here. I'll grab them and move them out. Let's do this. I see PSP. I do not give it. I see who's a PSP. Yeah. Yep. Do we have the Dave Mirror? I'm gonna put that aside. Flushed away. I don't know if I've got that. Okay. Uh, hopefully you can find some more. Do Famicom cartridges. Over the back there. Famicom. Discs. Mm -hmm. Look at that Dexter thing. Oh, what's the Dexter stuff? Oh, resistance. Oh, and the PS1, please. Oh, um, no, it's just Beyblade. That's okay. It's all good. Thank you very much. Yep. <laughs> I can't believe that. How much is... Sorry, I'm just checking the price on that controller. Alright. Worms World. That Dukes of Hazard 2. Oh, it's Is that 3? That's a burnt copy. I don't think they know what they're doing. That, that copy of VRL is really clean. Gran Turismo. And that Porsche one. Uh, Porsche Challenge. I don't know if we've got that one. Oh, I see Revenge. This is a good game. I like this one. Ten bucks. Ten right. bucks. All right, ten yeah. bucks for Gran Turismo. Oh, where is he? I'll just pass them to him. He can decide whether or not that one. Would that be something him buy? Nah. I think we've already got that one from memory. Okay. And uh, Speed Freaks. Oh, here we go. Thank God. Yes. Death Junior. Two dollars. Did reckoning two dollars. Fantastic. Oh, that looks so cool though. I know. I have. Um, I don't have Death. I only have Death Junior too. I don't have the first one. Ghost in the Shell. Yeah. That is ridiculous. I do have this one.
Atari. Oh, they're $3.50 for the Atari carts. Do we have Little Big Planet? See the Ridge Racer we've got, I can't tell you what version it is. Oh yeah, um, and Death Junior. Well, we're home from our shopping trip with Game On Couple and this happens to be everything that we picked up. So I'm gonna briefly run through everything and the prices that we paid. One of the op shops, uh, we found this cool Mambo Esky. Needs a bit of a clean out and it's a little faded, but that was $4. Same op shop. This is a party cake book uh, that Retro Gamer Guy remembers from uh, when he was a kid. So we've got one more of these that we need to grab. Uh, but yeah, there's some pretty cool cakes. This is something uh, pretty Australian, so the Aussies out there will know exactly what these Australian women's weekly magazines are. So that one was a dollar. Uh, starting the day, we tried to find garage sales and we happened to come across one lady's one and she did have some cool stuff. So um, in this box, it's written $10 for it. However, I said to her, look, can I please get it for five because everything's a little rough. Now, to start off, it is a bunch of Pokemon Tommy figures, which is really awesome. Uh, they, they are a bit rough, but they do definitely will clean up pretty well. Uh, if anyone collects these, let me know. And then there was some other little um, plushies for Pokemon and this 19, I think it's 1999, um, Mew toy, it's very dirty. I'm hoping that I'll be able to clean this up, but yeah, it's battery operated, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and a Pokemon trading card mat that you would play uh, the game on. So yeah, that was a pretty good pickup for $5. Um, other things that she was selling was in a bowl, and that was 50 cents for these uh, loot crate items. So there's the Terminator Genesis brain chip, uh, a blind, um, you know, blind satchel, whatever they call them, uh, of The Walking Dead, which is cool. The Walking Dead soap on a rope, which is uh, from Daryl, which is cool. And also the Lulu Dallas Multibus. Yeah, 50 cents each for those. So uh, $7. I ended up walking away with pretty much that, that box and that new four, which was really, really good. Another garage sale that we ended up hitting up, uh, they had some games, but they weren't great games, but I, I really did want Driver San Francisco. A lot of people have told me about this one. So I just opted for the Xbox 360 title. And then they also, that was $2. And then they had this cool old Warner Brothers VHS of Wally Cody and Roadrunner. Don't have this one and it was $2. I normally don't pay that much for a VHS, but um, in the wild, a Warner Brothers one is kind of hard to find. Now, the rest of the stuff is pretty much uh, op shops or cashies. Uh, this op shop ended up having $3 DS games and they had a ton of them, but they were just really crap. So I grabbed uh, Crash Boom Bang, which is really awesome crash racing sort of game. A theme park, uh, love that. Hopefully it's compatible on the 3DS because I'll definitely be playing that. And Guitar Hero onto a decade. So I recently picked up the Guitar Hero um, with the little, um, you know, keyboard thing. So yeah, that wanted to grab that game too. It's got some wicked tracks on it. They were three dollars each. Next, cash converters. Uh, these particular caches uh, had a quite a bit of stuff. So everything you see here, we paid a total of sixty dollars for. Okay. Uh, we normally wouldn't buy a VHS for two dollars fifty, but we didn't have the original land before time. So if you have seen this video, please let me know. It's such a classic. I remember crying when I was a little kid watching it. So finally we have that on VHS. 
they also happen to have a pretty tidy Star Wars Xbox 360. So this is the R2-D2 and super, super cute. Uh, always wanted this one, Retro Gamer Guy. Found it on the shelf, it was $35. So everything here come to a total of, I think it was closer to 80. Uh, and the lady behind the counter at the cash converters ended up uh, selling it all to us just for a rounded down price of 60 because I asked for a discount and yeah, you always need to ask. In this bag is the accessories that go with the 360. Unfortunately, it doesn't have its original controller, but yeah, it was definitely a good deal. Then I added some OG Xbox games and a Mega Drive game. So I was, uh, picked up Knights, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. A lot of people have told me this is one of the best Star Wars games to play, so $2 for that one. Sims 2. Star Wars Battlefront, $2. Uh, Sims was three, I think, yep. Lord of the Rings of Third Age 2, and one game I didn't have, so toys. Uh, this was $12, cool. Uh, the Kevin Pop Vinyl from Home Alone, and SingStar R&B. Now the game isn't in there, but the microphones are. I do happen to have this game though, so now uh, this would be complete in box. So that was $7.50, but yeah, as I said, we've got a big discount on all that. So pretty much that pile was 60. Next, another cash is we headed to. Uh, of course, we collect quite a lot of 90s CDs, so these were all 50 cents each to add to the collection. That collection's getting quite big now. Uh, they also had some really cool um, Blu-ray movies and they were super, super cheap. So they were uh, ended up being $4 each. So we picked up Gremlins, Toy Story 2, Toy Story 3, Total Recall with a cool front on it, and The Edge of Tomorrow, one of my favorite movies, and Total Recall. So yes, pretty cool. They also had 50% off their games. Uh, I bought the Bureau recently, but it didn't have the slip cover. So uh, this one ended up being $1.50. Borderlands with the slip cover for PS3, that was $2.50. Enslaved, I wasn't actually gonna pick this game up, but being Namco, I thought it's probably one that I should try eventually, um, if I did pick it up, so I did. And uh, Craig told me it was a good game. So that was $2.50. And lastly, Cameo, Elements of Power. A lot of people have said this is a game that I need to play, uh, so I picked it up and it was $1.50. Next is a soundtrack that was at an op shop for $2. Uh, these games were at another cash converters. Uh, again, I ended up Sorry, these ones were together. This was one cash converters. Uh, these games ended up being $3 each and they are complete and look like they haven't been used. So the Lord of the Rings were in, in the North and the Saboteur. So I picked up both of those for Retro Gamer Guys PS3 collection. So they were $3 each. The other cashies that we went to, again, had 50% off their games. And you know, it's crazy to think that they are so cheap these days. So um, I picked up Tetris DS for $1.50. Death Junior on the PSP for two dollars fifty. Dead to Rights Reckoning, another Nemco game that was a dollar. Spider Man Two, a dollar. Little Big Planet, dollar fifty. And Ghost in the Shell, uh, two dollars fifty. So that total came to uh, ten dollars for that, and that was probably one of the best deals I think I picked up on the day. Let me know what you think. Lastly, another op shop we went to, Retro Gamer Guy ended up finding these speakers. I think they had 15 on them, but they gave them to him for 10-ish, I think. Uh, so yeah, he's definitely into his old um, tech and stuff like that. So yeah, he's really happy to find some box speakers. And lastly, the uh, cricket game uh, for uh, Nintendo Wii, and it comes with a bit of a weird accessory but this is brand new in box it hasn't been used it's just been a little crushed so yeah that was everything that we picked up guys I hope you've enjoyed this pickup video slash uh, going through everything at the end and our game hunting for March we will have another video coming for you guys uh, in a few weeks for April we're just going to work out where we're going to head to uh, so it's a little bit different every time we do some filming but take care and until next time I'll talk to you later